your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteru. Clear skies again to get you out the door this morning, but the clear skies and light winds have once again allowed some of us to fall below that freezing mark. In fact, we're in the 20s through Eastland and Brownwood this morning. Above freezing here in Abilene, though, 37 degrees out there. So again, you'll want to bundle up before heading off to work and school. So far this month, it has been a cold one for sure. Just the first 14 days of this month now, we have been six degrees colder than the normal temperature. The coldest temperature we saw just about 24 hours ago is 23 degrees, was our low yesterday morning. 10 of the last 14. Days have been below average. In fact, on Tuesday, our overall temperature was 22 degrees below normal. So it has been a very chilly start to November. Also, a change from September and October. We haven't quite seen the rainfall we've been used to. We've only seen a quarter of an inch so far this month. And we'll have to watch closely to see if we'll add any more to that total or not. There are a couple of rain chances, though, as we head into the seven day. Temperatures, though, finally feeling a little bit more like this time of the year, staying in the mid and upper 60s out there as we head into the first half of your weekend. Here comes our next cold front, though, Saturday. Saturday afternoon. This is going to send temperatures dropping into Sunday into the upper 40s for high Sunday afternoon, but we'll start rebounding very quickly into Monday, already back into the 60s again by next Tuesday. Again, things staying pretty quiet, though. No threat of winter weather with this next cold front. We will see just a very, very small chance for rain, though, on Sunday. Could see a couple isolated showers, mainly in the southern and eastern big country, but that's going to really be the extent of rain, at least for the next five days or so. All thanks to this high pressure off towards the Gulf Coast, as is keeping things very quiet across the entire state going to keep southwesterly winds moving its way in too. That's going to bring these warmer temperatures as we head into the first half of the weekend. Could see a few passing clouds today, but otherwise as we head into tomorrow for Friday, pretty much a carbon copy of today. So we're going to be hanging on to plenty of sunshine, southwesterly winds as we head into Saturday morning though. Our attention turns off to the north. Here comes our next cold front. This is going to start to push into the panhandle early Saturday morning, eventually making its way here into the big country as we head into Saturday afternoon and into the evening. Again, that's going to bring those cooler temperatures and a chance for rain for the second half of your weekend. Today, though, this morning to get you out the door already by 8 a.m., many of us are back to above that freezing mark. But again, you'll want to keep that jacket handy. It will still be cool out there. Winds will remain light through the day, already making it back into the low 60s by your lunchtime. Plenty of sunshine. These temperatures already warmer than what we got to yesterday, as many of us could get into the upper 60s later this afternoon, eventually into the low and mid 60s by the 5 o'clock hour as you're heading home from work. 67 degrees for a high here in Abilene. Much warmer weather returning today. In fact, that's right where we should be for this time of year. Cooling off into the lower 40s tonight with clear skies out there and light winds. And those temperatures will stay very mild as we head through Friday and into Saturday. There comes that front Saturday evening, dropping us into the upper 40s for Sunday. But we'll be back into the 60s again by Tuesday. Again, just a very small chance for rain as we head into the middle of the next week. It looks like we'll be staying in the 60s. Could see a possible light freeze, though, as we head Sunday night into Monday morning. All right. It is November, so we'll take the sunshine and the rain and the cold weather as it comes. Par for the course. All right. Well, for our new coffee.